The Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Kenya, ISPAC, is a statutory body established under the Accountants Act No. 15 of 2008 with a mandate to develop and regulate the accountancy profession in Kenya. The main role of the Institute is to be able to, one, prescribe standards in accountancy and auditing, and two, to be able to regulate members who get into the profession, to be able to provide with them with a requisite uh, continuous professional development, as well as regulate them to ensure that there's compliance and also carry out disciplinary measures in where there are malpractices within our members. For the 41 years, the Institute has established itself as a formidable entity that is respected locally and internationally. I feel extremely humbled and privileged to stand in front of you here today to accept this great honor and that you have bestowed on me when you voted me as your 23rd um, chairman or chairperson just over one week ago. So my investiture today is really historic as a second um, woman chairperson of um, this institute. The governance of the institute consists of 11 member council. Out of 11 members, three members represent the following institutions. FCPA Dr. Nicholas Latin represents the Kenya Accountancy and Secretary's National Examinations Board. FCPA Wycliffe Shamia represents the Capital Markets Authority. CPA Jonah Walla representing the National Treasury. And Ms. Damari Skimosop represents the interests of other professionals. The Institute has two statutory committees, namely the Disciplinary Committee chaired by FCPA Charity Moya and the Audit and Quality Assurance Committee currently chaired by FCPA Dr. Jim McPhee. The, uh, the Institute has a disciplinary committee. If one of our members does not do his work as he should do, if he fails in doing his work properly, then this will actually be referred if the person so wants it uh, to be the case, this matter will be referred to the disciplinary committee and they then will investigate the matter and see whether that particular member is guilty of misconduct or not. So there's a, a fail-safe situation there. The Institute is also credited for having founded the KCA University in 1989. And there are a number of achievements that we've been able to achieved within the last 40 years. One of it is being proud to be able to have a university, a KCA university that is being able to provide a tertiary education to our young people in accountancy and other related fields that build into the capacity of the growing economy in Kenya. KCA is lucky to be the first university in Africa founded by professional public certified accountant. Uh, that is very, very important relationship we have had. We are much more independent now as a university, but the relationship con 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 exists very strongly with this pack. Uh, because we will continue working very much together. The learning environment in KCA University is very comfortable. First of all, because we have classes that fit students, a good number of students. We don't have to struggle to listen to the lecturers. We have personal interaction with the lecturers. Um, we are able to get our assignments on time, our cuts on time, because the lecturers don't have to struggle with marking large numbers of papers. We have the appropriate number of students that is adequate to get the best education that one can get. ISPAC is also a proud owner of CPA Center, a 12-story edifice located at Ruaraka area along Thika Road. The CPA Center houses ISPAC headquarters and other tenants including the Kenya Leather, the National Hospital Insurance Fund, PSASB, among other private enterprises. The Institute's current membership portfolio stands at 27,000 
394 members who are serving in both public and private sectors as practitioners and general accountants. To keep members abreast with professional dynamism, the Institute organizes CPD events throughout the year. As a protector of public interest, the Institute robustly engages critical stakeholders on matters accountability, finance and policy. We've also participated in legislation and um, policy formulation. Um, we, ISPAC continues to be a key contributor um, during the formulation of legislation and um, in this particular year we have uh, submitted views and enriched the following documents including the bu budget policy statement, the finance bill, the public finance amendment bill, and um, the statute law amendment bill and we continue to provide um, a lot more input we have regular engagement with the national treasury we have regular engagement with the office of the auditor general with the office of the controller of budget with um, kra um, we have um, you know regular engagement with all these um, bodies in terms of the fight against corruption and whistleblowing I think, when I think about it, today our country is in the midst of a fight. We are fighting for the soul of our country and the future that we will bequeath to our children. Today, in our midst, um, we have um, some of our members who have chosen to whistleblow um, against practices that, were, that they felt were unacceptable. We um, have CPA where we're expecting to have CPA Spencer, Olol Chike, and CPA Wilberforce Serem. I'm not sure if they're in the room or not, or they, they are there. Please stand up so that we can um, recognize you and honor you for, that, um, for the courage that you've shown. Thank you very much. Great leadership is going to be achieved by hard effort. And we only see the results after the hard effort. Members, may I call upon FCP Edward Ouko just for five minutes to give us a snapshot of eight years in five minutes before we move to the next. Over and above all, the most challenging thing was to say that there was going to be a difference, to make a difference and to make that the eight years, and as I speak here, I can say that I think the eight years, there was a difference. And the difference was the transformation journey which one had to be committed to. The Institute has taken a lot of interest in the devolution agenda, a fact that has seen it establish nine physical branches across the country. The branches include Coast Branch, Nyanza Branch, Western Branch, Eastern Branch, North Rift Branch, Mount Kenya Branch, Central Rift Branch, South Rift Branch, and Northern Branch. Each and every branch, each and every county has a county rep for the county, and uh, they manage, make arrangements for meetings within their counties. The Institute is also credited as an active participant on international matters related to accountancy. ISPAC is a member of the International Federation of Accountants, IFAC, the Global Umbrella Body for the Accountancy Profession and Pan-Africa Federation of Accountants, PAFA. Additionally, ISPAC has established international chapters in the United Kingdom, South Africa, and Australia. The establishment of these chapters has given rise to a mutual beneficial relationship with accounting bodies in these countries. ISPAC has mutual recognition agreements with the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, the East African Community Institute of Accountants, CPA Australia, Zambia Institute of Chartered Accountants, and Memoranda of Understanding MOUs with the Institute Chartered Accountants of India, Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, and Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales. This means that ISPAC members can hold dual membership 
and transfer their skills through practice and active employment upon fulfilling mutual recognition agreement requirements. As an institute, we are proud first to be able to mention that we are regarded as the second best uh, institute in Africa. But even with that, we are proud to be able to say that we have an international brand that is well recognized out there. The institution remains a committed corporate citizen, a fact that is evidenced through CSR programs covering matters of financial sustainability, environmental conservation, and ISPAC scholarship program. Since 2016, the Institute, through its scholarship scheme, has been sponsoring bright but disadvantaged students to pursue university education. The ISPAC scholarship was started in year 2015. Eight students have been able to benefit from the program, three of which have gone through the full university program and been able to graduate from the universities. Five of them are still at the university and we still are supporting them. It's a full scholarship. I'm Tiko Kemadi M. Wairabwa, East Park Scholarship Beneficiary. I'm currently at Technical University of Kenya, pursuing become accounting option than the students. About this program uh, of scholarship, I, I learned it online. Then uh, I applied. I just got the forms and applied. After like two months, I got a call, and I was told I and what as well. The scholarship has not only improved in my life but also the life of my mom. Uh, we have benefited because I've been able to pursue my dream. I have standard, I have no problem. Everything is kept and for. On financial sustainability and reporting, the Institute has jointly promoted the Financial Reporting Awards since 2002 with the Capital Markets Authority, the Nairobi Securities Exchange, and the Public Sectors Accounting Standards Board the running of the fire award every year every year there is that achievement uh, it's one of those things which you know it, it may pass it's not uh, a great thing but the fact is people are trying to compete with one another they're trying to produce a better set of accounts that uh, excellence in the profession itself is something which is going to mean that people are doing a better job here in kenya rather than let's say, doing a very mediocre job. And I think that is something which keeps the profession on its toes. Due to the impact of this um, uh, awards, we've basically seen an uptake from the public and private sector that has grown in leaps. And we really want to thank the participants for taking that initiative to actually participate. Futuristic Outlook. People need information and information has to be provided in a way that will be understood and in a way that informs decision making that can only come from a well developed profession that articulates and put the information together and as a as a profession we are proud that this is a profession that informs any other decision, whether you're looking at budgets, whether you're looking at dividends, whether you're looking at financial statements, or whether you're looking at the operations of any given entity.